My name is Bob Doyle. I'm with the East Bay Regional Park District. I'm the general manager of the Regional Park Agency. Uh, Frederick Law Olmsted Jr. is um, a core DNA of the Park District. We started in 1934 with a plan that was an Olmsted plan. And Olmsted, uh, like he did many plans, had a collaboration with uh, another person named Ansel Hall, who was a, the chief naturalist for the National Park Service. So Olmsted and Hall did our report to look at creating a park system in the East Bay of San Francisco Bay Area. This is our 80th anniversary of the Olmsted Hall report and we have acquired uh, 114,000 acres of natural lands, both scenic lands uh, and wildlife habitat, but also along San Francisco Bay, heavily impacted and populated areas along the urban shoreline. So we are both close to lots of uh, new people coming into California and very diverse populations. We're also far away, but only a few minutes away. So if the people want to get away to really natural, scenic lands, it's in their backyard. I think the public has been very generous with supporting the acquisition of parks. We have such a legacy in California of protecting millions of acres, starting with Yosemite Valley, the national parks, the state parks, and local parks. My biggest concern in managing a big system is will the next generations do what the last generations did? Um, civic engagement, uh, are we relevant to the populations that are moving into urban areas? Um, do kids uh, want to get outdoors? What are we doing to engage um, diverse populations, people of different cultures, people who maybe don't have transportation to get to a park, people that may be scared of parks? So I think we have a very big challenge because my generation of older people um, who grew up as an environmental activist and a park now a park professional, um, that generation is aging out. Uh, and in the park management side, those are the people retiring who have had a career of being rangers, park maintenance people, naturalists, educators. And so we need new young people coming into these systems. And we need people who want to dedicate themselves to public service and work in the out of doors. It's a huge opportunity for good jobs and a good career, but it also has to be relevant to people's lives. Well, I find it very inspirational. Uh, there is a thread of DNA in all these parks between the, the very beginning of Olmsted Sr. when he came to California, did the first plan of uh, Yosemite Valley. He took $500 out of his pocket and did the first survey of Yosemite Valley. Nobody has ever had done an official map. And so from there, the national park idea, the great democratic idea of our national parks, our state parks, and then local parks have really, really grown uh, in popularity and use. Our park system alone has 22 million people a year using it. And I think having the inspiration and the history of where we came from as a park profession, as park planners, as landscape architects to serve the public and manage parks. This is really very, very pertinent to our challenges for the future.